hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel because realistically i feel like it's been so long since i've uploaded something that everyone who was here before i feel like they're gone <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and this is the routine that's like a natural beat. It's like a full face but it doesn't look like it if that makes sense. It's like when guys post like they want a natural girl and they're like yeah no makeup like this and then they have a full face of makeup on. That's the look we're going for today. And not to say that I do my makeup every day because realistically the last time I did my makeup had to be Thanksgiving and if you ask me when I did my makeup before that it will honestly be crickets. I have no freaking idea honestly but I'm trying to get back into being my myself and just kind of like finding myself again and that sounds really corny but it's like I don't find the time to do makeup anymore and if you know like if you have been here before like when I first started my channel in what maybe 2016 that was like originally what it was all about like makeup 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 and nothing's changed like I still love doing makeup I just never find the time to do it anymore like I only do my makeup when I have somewhere to go and I mean that sounds like a normal thing but I never have anywhere to go I used to do my makeup just to sit around the house and be cute or take pictures or whatever not and now like I'm finding myself not really creating content anymore not having pictures not doing my makeup not dolling myself up for no reason and that's exactly what I'm doing today so I thought I would just bring you guys along so you guys can see this routine is not gonna be anything extravagant it's gonna be really simple actually first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my lips I'm just gonna use some petroleum jelly it's for my lips when I use this my lips are never dry and I also need to moisturize my face I normally use Dermacil and I use the Pond's dry skin treatment I'm I'm literally like scraping the end of the bottle on this one so I'm going to mix them I don't know where all of this went but first I'm gonna pin my hair back now we have a blank canvas okay and now I'm going to just put this in I don't know if it's just me but my nose has been so dry lately I'm just gonna put like a lot of this on my nose it's like it's patchy it's dry like everywhere I don't know what's been going on with my skin lately maybe because we're transitioning into the winter and my skin is so dry in the winter time this is literally like my last little bit of this this is ridiculous I'm just gonna add some of this and then just rub it in like do you guys see the difference i'm literally glowing now so the first thing i like to do is to do my brows my brows are very simple i don't do anything too crazy for my brows my brows are more on the thinner side like they're barely there honestly and i brush them upwards just so i can kind of shape them how i want so normally i use the nyx um i forget what it's called normally i use the nyx micro brow pencil but i just ran out of that so i'm just gonna use this wet and wild one and it's just a, a brown pencil you can literally use anything and I use this little mirror and I kind of just you know see close up but basically I'm just going to trace the outline of my natural brow yeah just fill it in and I don't like to go too thick on the brows or too dark I like it to still look a bit natural just like that and when you finish it's gonna look a little crazy it's gonna look a little dramatic because you have nothing else on your face but don't worry so I like to brush the beginning of the brow at the top so that it looks a little bit more faded and natural so I'm going to be using the master conceal concealer this is in the color medium it's like one shade lighter than my skin I use the concealer at the bottom of the brow and then at the top since we're going for a more natural look I actually use just my regular foundation tone for a more natural look personally I like to blend it in with my finger it just kind of goes in a lot smoother on your skin and it looks more seamless to me than using a brush which leaves it kind of streaky I'm no professional so you know do as you please but that's just my preferred way of doing it if it still seems a little boxy to you you can always go back in with the spoolie and brush it out to make it blend a little better so the next thing I like to do is go in with my primer the first thing I use is the picture perfect blurring primer and this is what it looks like this is by makeup obsession it's so dirty but it's been through you know months and months of clutter I I usually put it in my t-zone area wherever my pores like stick out I get a lot of pore peaking there and honestly it's so annoying so this kind of does the trick for me the next thing I like to do is use the NYX honey do me up this just makes sure my skin is nice and dewy and it always is like a perfect base before I use my foundation my moisturizer does the job most times but if I'm looking for that extra dewy glow like a natural everyday look I love to add this extra layer lately I've been going back and forth between 
using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Dewy Foundation. Because it's the winter time, this one has been a little bit too dark for me, so I've been going for the Dewy and Smooth one. I actually don't apply too much of it because this is a natural look, so I'm just gonna apply it in little places all over my face, nothing too full coverage. What I like to do is blend it in with a little brush, and then I also like to spray it with my Mario Badescu just to make sure it's still dewy when I blend it out. So for contour, I like to go really natural. This is in Honey Brown. It is the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. I use an angled brush and I go down my cheekbone at an angle. I also like to go around the perimeter of my forehead and my chin. For blush, I'm using the Blush To Go Palette. This is by BH Cosmetics. It's pretty old actually and it's been like my go-to for years now. Everyone forgot about it but me? <laughs> no ma'am. I normally smile and put it all over my cheeks and I use the darkest shade in the palette. For my highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powder. This is in the color Awesome Blossom. First, I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu. I like to use a flat concealer brush. It makes the highlights so immaculate. Like, gosh, just watch. Like, look at the glow. You see this? You see me? I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner for my eyeliner and I love to do a dramatic wing. I know it's not every day, but it's like a part of my signature look. I can't go anywhere without my wing. just like that the wings are done the next thing I like to do is very optional you know some people love it some people hate it I like to use a shimmery shade preferably like a white or tan I take a little dab of it and I put it in the tear duct of my eye and for me it just gives like this pop like this awake like I'm here hello Beyonce <laughs> you see the difference and the thing about it is you can go as subtle or as you know dramatic as you want to. Me, I like to be like right in the middle. Once that's done, it's time for the lips. So I like to outline my lip. I like using a lipstick because it's not as drying as a lip liner is. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Push Matte Lipstick in the color I Quit. I like to use the very tip of it and I just outline my lip. And then for the inside of the lip, I like to use the NYX lingerie. This is in the color Push Up and it's just a nude pink. I have two of the NYX gloss bombs and I kind of go back and forth between these two. One of them is in Baby Brett and the other one is in Cake Shake. I'm gonna use Cake Shake today. It'll offset the coolness of the tone I use for the outline to give it more of a warm look. And just like that, this is my everyday makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be posting more content soon. I am so happy to be back and I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys liked the video as well and got some tips for your natural or everyday makeup look. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting something every week, I promise. Feel free to add all of my other social medias. All of my handles are under the same name, Ray Ray Janae, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everything. I'll link everything below and I will post a new video soon because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.